Hello everybody, so my initial plan for the concluding video of the 10 days of NIME LLM nodes was to show a full end-to-end -end use case which solves a real-life problem of trying to find your gym house or your gym apartment and this solves a real-life problem on two fronts. On one hand, it makes it easier for the home buyers to get their ideal home and on the other hand, it makes it more likely that the real estate companies will get more viewings on their properties and therefore get more sales. Now, that is something I'm still going to keep working on, and I think it's going to be a very cool and powerful use case. However, I do want to take my time with that. And I wanted to show you guys how to set up GPT for all. So I'm going to use that setup for GPT for all, how to use that in NIME as the concluding video for this series. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because I realize, you know, thankfully, I'm a bit fortunate where I can spend, you know, tens of dollars on whatever side project I have, maybe even hundreds of dollars on some business use cases I have. But this is not something everybody can do. And some businesses which have large scale of data, they may not have thousands of dollars to deploy to leverage this technology, which is why I want to show GPT for all because it's actually free. And these technologies are really cool and I don't want anybody to miss out on this. So I want to take some time to show you how you can download, set up GPT for all and use it within NIME. And again, the beauty of NIME is it's open source, the NIME platform, you don't have to pay any money for it. And you know, my mind is always blown and I'm always very appreciative to be honest for the people at nine who allow us to just use this i mean come on look at this really awesome cool you know user interface it's super modern and super cool and there's so many nodes it's super powerful so i'm very happy that this is accessible and you don't need to pay over ten thousand dollars to get this because quite frankly the competition you're going to need to pay over ten thousand dollars probably per user license to get this kind of functionality anyways let us get started with this so we're over on the website where you can download your installers for gpt for all i use a windows machine so i'm gonna click on the windows installer and that's downloaded you can see i did do it before but i got rid of it because i want to show you guys how to set it up so we're gonna click on open file And we're going to go along with the installation. So click on next. I do want it saved in this directory. Exactly. If you want to change it, you can like browse and select which directory you want. Click on next, click on next, accept the license, click on next. And we're going to create the menu shortcut. That's fine. And install. While that's, in, while that's installing, let's just go ahead and drag the nodes we're going to use. So we're going to search our node repository. We are going to use table creator, so I'm just going to grab that since it's loaded. We're going to search for GPT. We're going to bring in the chat model connector. And we're also going to bring in the embeddings connector as well. Just taking it. There we go. Okay, and then the embeddings connector as well. Now let's go back here and it has completed the setup. Click on finish. Now we're going to search for GPT for all because it's actually a, an application on your computer. Now this is where if you wanted to do like chat with your documents, you can do that in this, in this application, but it's also where you're going to go to download models. Now, a key thing to note is not all the GPT for all models that you can download here. Not all of them are free and not all of them are supported by nine. So Lama 3 Instruct, I had issues with it and I also had issues with, um, I tried to use Falcon, Falcon as well. It gave me errors for the nodes in 9, but, but this one does work. So we're going to download this one. Okay, now whatever we download is going to go into our download path, which is exactly where I want it. While that's downloading, you can actually make new chats in the GPT for All application. But the reason why you might want to use it use it within NIME is because using it with NIME allows you to integrate it with all the other NIME nodes. For instance, in my use case, I'm using GPT for all to make my vector store etc. But I'm still using the traditional NIME nodes to do my data preparation. So here I have my file which has lots of information for the houses. It has the zip code, the city, the longitude, latitude, everything. It also has description. And what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to, I concatenate all these columns into one column. I'm going to have the AI write everything as a nice descriptive 
text, which is probably going to match the natural language humans are going to use to make this easy to find, so to make the homes easier to find by the keywords the human is going to use when they're describing their, their dream home. So I'm using the LLMs, but I'm also using the traditional NIME nodes. And also with NIME, you can send the data to wherever you want it to send. If you have NIME server, you can have this running in the back end, communicating with your real estate website. So there's a lot of things you can do integrating the large language models with the rest of the options and functionalities from the NIME uh, platform or the NIME server. And if it's if you're working with a lot of data, maybe you're working with thousands of documents, maybe even hundreds of your own documents, it might be, might be hard for you to manage that in this uh, in this GPT for all application. You might want to use Lime. Okay, so let's see how our download is doing. Where did it go? Okay, let's just click here. It's probably here somewhere. Okay, so it's finished downloading. I mean, that was pretty fast. Thankfully, I do have fast internet. Thank you, Orido. So now that it's done downloading. We can go back to NIME. We have already pulled in the nodes we're going to use. So we're going to be using the GPT model connector and also the embeddings connector node. So now you need to tell the chat model connector where to find the chat model. And it's very easy. Now, just quickly want to mention, aside from some of these models being free, one of the beauties of GPT for all is that it runs on your local machine. So if you go here, for instance, to the downloads, Look at this model. There's nothing here that talks about an API, whereas the GPT, you need the API key. What this means, and you can see here, you can see here that there is no RAM requirements here. It says minimal, but the one we downloaded, it says 8 GB. The reason for this is this model, it runs on your local machine. Your data is not going anywhere. It's not sending your information via API to open AI. So if you're worried about privacy, in addition to costs, this is a good option for you because everything is on your local machine and it doesn't cost money. This is one of the biggest advantages of using this. So it's actually installed a model on your machine and um, it's only accessible to you and everybody else who has access to your computer. Okay, so that's how that works. That's one of the really good things for it. So we're going to navigate to where this model is stored and we can actually see the file. So it's going to be in my um, OS, in my users, me and in the GPT for all folder here, and here is the model we just got. Okay, so now we copy the path for this model and we come back to nine. And in the node for the chat model connector, we configure this node and we paste the path in there. Now we should not have the quote marks in the path, so we just get rid of those. And then I'm going to change the maximum response token length to let's do 1000. I'm going to make the temperature a bit high because I do want it to to, to uh, write something a bit more whimsical and a bit more lighthearted. So I'm going to just make it a bit higher. I want to be a bit less predictable. So click on OK with that. So that's configured. Now, I'm just going to drag this on empty space. It should, it should suggest to me the prompter node. So the chat model prompter, which is exactly what I want. I'm going to connect a table template. So in here, I'm going to make two, two columns. I'm going to make role and messages or just message is fine. And the reason for this, which I think you would have seen in my previous videos is you do need to identify your role and message columns in the chat model prompter. So, and it already detects them automatically. That's great. So the system message is you are a convin. Con okay, so what I, what I want from this, I wanted to write us a 200 word essay on why you should have a Turkish van cat, like my cat, Walter. I'm going to put this picture up in a second. Write a convincing article. Let's make an article. Con. Funny story. So I've had this cat, Waltito. I've had him for about two years and I had no idea what breed he was. I uploaded a picture of him to ChatGPT and ChatGPT told me which breed he was. And like, that's like for me the, the coolest and closest to my heart use case of AI I have, honestly. So just FYI, Nime, like, it's cool that this highlights the errors, but can you please suggest the spelling fixes? That would be great. Whimsical. 
Okay, beautiful. Write a whimsical and convincing article on why everyone should have a Turkish uh, Turkish van cat as a pet. Uh, 200 word. 200 word. Okay. Article. Okay, so click on OK and, let, and then let's run this. And then while this runs, let us discuss the embeddings model. Now, the embeddings uh, connector node, if you click on it, you get the option to download a model. So there's already a default model that NIME has provided. So if you actually go here to the uh, question mark to see the help, there is a default model. It is trained on sentences and short paragraphs of English text. Um, and I did try loading up a model, which I downloaded, downloaded from GPT for all, but I got an error. So I guess it's not supported. Honestly, my hunch is maybe the ones that are supported by NIME are the ones which have the license for commercial use, but I haven't tested this hunch. Uh, so maybe that's the case, uh, but I don't know. But now we're going to go with the default uh, model here. So we're going to download it. We're going to increase the number of threads. Let's do one, uh, let's do 10, uh, let's do eight actually. I think I allow nine to use up to 10, 10 threads. And I think the more threads you have, the faster it should go. Oops, I just hit this. Uh, okay, so we're going to click on okay. You should download that. Okay, so this is also done. So since this is done, let us go ahead and uh, let's let's read this, shall we? So I love to read things in the tile view. I think it's it's a, it's a nice way to read things. And I only want um, actually we can just do everything. That's fine. There's only two rows. Okay, so. I want the AI one. I was going to read this honestly, but it's a bit long. I don't want to read everything. I'm going to read the first sentences. Okay, let's see if it's a nice whimsical whimsical uh, tone like we asked. <clears throat> Title, The Enchanting Allure of the Turkish Van Cat. Your perfect cat companion. Subtitle, Discover why everyone should have a Turkish Van Cat in their lives. Are you looking for a unique and captivating companion to brighten up your life? Look no further than the enchanting, beautiful Turkish Van Cat. With their striking white coat, piercing golden eyes, and playful personalities, these felines are not just pets. They are living works of art. Ooh, I like this. <laughs> this is nice. Oh, this is so nice. But yeah, it sounds whimsical. I like it. It sounds convincing. So now hopefully everybody's going to get more cats. I'm pretty sure adoption centers would happily, you know, let you have a cat, which you're going to love and take care of. And it doesn't have to be a Turkish fan cat. It can be a different cat. So that's done. That's cool. And... Uh, we're just gonna discard changes and by the way besides these first two first two nodes everything else is pretty much the same kinds of nodes as we have used for the for the other ones the only difference is the agent node i don't think you can use it here because that needs an agent creator which i don't really see being supported here um for that uh you have to use ChatGPT, and maybe that might change in the future which is gonna be cool Okay, so now let's try to embed a document. So we have connected and downloaded the an embedding model, which again is free. All of this is free. So let us connect it to a vector store creator node, uh, just like we had before. Actually, let's do one better and just drag this in empty space. And there we go. This is what we want. Zoom out so we can find the... Uh, okay, so yeah, th this is the file. I did some pre-processing for metadata tags. So <laughs> it's going to go a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to grab that and connect it here. Okay, so that's my file, which has the uh, earnings call for meta, if you remember. So we're going to create the vector store. The document column is it's the text and the metadata should only have these ones the text is not metadata okay and then we're going to run this and while that's running we are also going to connect the vector store retriever it's already embedded which is pretty nice and fast and we are going to create a question to ask table uh, creator again so here we're going to write a question um 
let's just call this question. Okay. And okay, what was said about about um VR or virtual reality? Okay, this is our question. And in here we configure. Question is the question column. Let's get five results. Retrieve document, that can be the name, that's fine. We don't need to retrieve the metadata because we only have one document here. All the metadata is the same. Um, so we're just not gonna retrieve it. And we need to ungroup this. This is my favorite functionality, by the way, for the new NIME. So massive kudos to the minds behind this. Just dragging things and it suggests stuff for you. And you can also search. So again, I want a tile view because I love tile views. Okay. And in here, I only want to see the retrieve documents. I don't want to see the question. So now we open this and we can very easily read what's there. So they are talking about, oh yeah, Asgard's Wrath. I have this game. It's pretty cool. So yeah, they're talking about the future of, um, uh, sorry, they're talking about what was said about the, the VR. So yeah, this is a VR game that's relevant. Also talking about VR games here. This one is not about VR games. Um, at least I'm not seeing anything, just scanning. Actually, well, actually Reality, Reality Labs is also linked to VR as well. So this one is also part of VR. Okay, the, this one also reality reality labs. That's also relevant. Okay. Also, this is oh, this is impressive actually. Hold on. Okay, yeah. So the word reality is here as well. Reality labs. I was just like holding in on quest three. So yeah, these are all relevant, which is brilliant. And again, we did all of this for free. And you can have as many documents as you want, embed as much as you want. You can have it rewrite as much as you want. It's all free, it's all local. And you can really scale this up without having to pay anything, without having to really worry about your data going to Lord knows where. So it's a really cool offering and a cool solution. Again, having it, having it in NIME lets you integrate it with everything else that NIME has to offer, which is super special and, you know, super awesome i don't think the nine team gets enough thanks for making this open source and open and free to us it's it's truly wonderful i just feel so sentimental today so maybe that's why i'm really all mushy about this but sometimes i just sit back and i'm super appreciative which is really me today so kudos to you guys and i hope you guys really enjoy this this brings us to the end of the 10 days of, of nine LLM notes. Give me a couple of days to a week to clean up the workflow. I will share everything, I promise. And then if you're interested in this use case, let me know. And once I have it up, I will also share that and I'll be sure to let you know that it's available. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day and a lovely week. Goodbye.